Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I have a TV set that might be the best value per size ratio in 2020. So this is the Hisense R6 series. Now as a disclaimer, I want to tell you guys that Hisense did send this over to me, but I did a lot of research and on top of that, I filmed the whole entire video before I shot this so I know exactly what this TV set is all about. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys the latency of it, some of the colors, we're going to do a sound test and more. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Today we're going to take a look at the Hisense R6 E3 4K UHD television set powered by the Roku operating system. This television set is available in four different sizes. You have 43, 50, 58 inch, and 65 inch. I will tell you Walmart has nothing to do with this video, but I was over there buying some more fabric and I realized that they had a TV section. So I went over and that's where I got that footage from. Now let me show you what comes in the box. This TV comes with the Roku remote control as well as some safety and instruction setup guides. In addition to that, you get an energy savings guide, and this will give you an idea of what it takes to run a television set like this. I must say this is a very interesting back panel, a lot different than the other TVs that I reviewed on this channels. It has this little indention right here that has all the inputs on it and you do have a cable that's connected that you can't remove. You can easily mount this TV set on the wall due to the screw holes that's here and here. And I will tell you this TV set doesn't have component video, it has composite video. Additional to that you have an antenna input, a headphone output, a reset button, and a fiber optic digital output. I will point out that it has three HDMI and all of them support 60 Hertz a USB and a ethernet connection for connecting directly to a router. So this TV has something that I haven't seen on another brand. If you have a small table, you can mount your feet here. And if you have a larger table, you can mount them here. I will tell you, this is a 10 bit VA panel with direct LEDs. So don't expect to have the best viewing angles. In fact, it's about 179 degrees overall. I will tell you, you get a better picture by looking directly into it but it's actually a pretty good deal considered that this TV set is $300 for a 58 inch TV set. This TV set also supports 4K 60 frames per second and it does have HDR10. Another thing about this TV set, if you have a supported format like 4K Netflix, it can also support what we call Dolby Vision that's gonna give you much, much better colors and a lot of details and the picture quality. Now when it comes to sound, this TV set has two 7 watt amplifiers and it does support sounds like Dolby Digital and DTS Studio. Now when it comes to the Roku operating system, it's very easy to use, including going down here to settings and changing things like the background as well as screensavers. For example, under themes here, you can change it to different types of themes like the Hisense original one. You can also choose Space, Western, and there's a few other ones right here below it that you can just click on it and make it the default. And a new favorite I found is screensavers. So you can make all these different settings, but I was able to do the aquarium. And whenever you preview it, it gives you that theme that I had when I first started this video. But overall, you can still do all the traditional ones as well. And if you don't like the built-in screensavers, you can also go down here to the bottom and you can download different ones as well. And most of them are free. And under system, you'll also find something that you guys will find handy. It's called, it's called screen mirroring. So once you have that turned on, and you can pull up an app like YouTube and then choose your device. And you can see the TV set will change automatically. Another thing I like is once you switch it over to YouTube or whatever support app is, you can then use the remote control to get through all the settings, for example. But then you still have the controls on the phone. Now I'm going to show you guys a latency test, and I don't really know what to expect here, but let's go and give it a try. So I have this little latency test I've been showing you guys in my video. Just going to plug in the HDMI. 
And that's going to be on HDMI arc one that you see there. Now, once we select it, it should show the input. So to check the input lag, I'll just put this little box over one of these lights here. And look at that. 35.9 milliseconds, which is pretty good for a TV set less than $300. Now let's put it in gaming mode and see how well it does. To get to the gaming mode settings, if the TV supports it on a Roku, you hit this little star and over here you get all the different settings. But let me show you just a few things before we go ahead and show you that. First you have TV brightness, you have picture size automatic, you have low picture, but the thing I want to show you guys is right here under picture settings, this is where you can go in here and change the contrast ratio. You also can go to change the backlight, brightness, contrast, color temperature, and more. Now right here is where we have gaming mode. So if I just toggle that on and then go back, the gaming mode should be on. So let's try this again. And look at that, 11.9 milliseconds, which is pretty good. So I'm pretty impressed with a TV set at this price can perform that well. Now, unlike a Samsung or LG where it automatically labels the inputs and everything, you have to do it manually on any Roku based television set. So for example, I have this Xbox plugged into Arc 1, but you can see it didn't change it over to Xbox. But if you hit the option button on the remote control, you can go down here and rename it to anything you like. And they do have some preset ones built in here. So for example, I have an Xbox. You can see now it does label Xbox. You also can hit that menu button again, and you can also move it around. So if you like, don't like where it's located, put it where you want it. Press the center to select it. So I'm just gonna do like a test game, show you guys like the Xbox. Whoa. You can see I'm not the best player at games, but it's cool. It's a free version. Hey, look at that. One of my first match. The TV spawns pretty good though. All right. There we go. A few other things I want to point out on this TV, right now you have the input mode, and if you go over here, you can rename it, but additional to that, you can put in 1.4 mode, but I recommend you use 2.0 and use a 2.0 HDMI cable. Another thing you can do is right here under remote and devices, you can go over here and set up a new device, and they have options for remote control, speakers, and subwoofers. Now these speakers right here are Roku branded speakers, and they retail for 149, or you can go with the Roku subwoofer, which is 179. And I find it kind of odd that they don't allow you to hook up your own Bluetooth devices, but these are your options. The last thing to tell you guys is under the Roku operating system, there's over 4,000 different applications that you guys can get from ABC, Apple TV, Disney Plus. There's also a premium service that you can get as well. So overall, if you like a fast interface, you'll definitely like the Roku because it, I think it's faster than a lot of competitors out there. So after watching this video, what do you guys think? Is this TV set one of the best value 58 inch TV sets under $300? I haven't seen many on the market and that's pretty aggressive if you ask me. But I'd like to know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, after watching this video, I have some other videos that you guys can check out, even another Hisense video, if you wanna see more features that you can do with their brands. I'm Tech Steve, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.